Okay, so Sunday 23rd of September, just having a breakfast here. And a bit of breakfast, it's more like a kind of home stay where we stay with the family. They have a new dog here called Missing. They like football. Yes, yeah, so we just had a nice uh, breakfast here with the owners. That's a good thing about staying in smaller guest houses like this, is we get to have breakfast with the actual owners of the place. Uh, so, extremely helpful telling us places to go. Well, not only here, but also other places in India we'll be going in the next uh, week or so. So, uh, extremely friendly, helpful people again. So, we're getting ready to go out and then we'll be exploring around here in Jaipur. Even though it's raining today, so... Uh, I think today and tomorrow is going to be pretty cloudy and rainy, but uh, and then the, after that it's just sunshine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, looks like we're walking around another day in the rain, but never mind, that's the way it is, so uh, that's okay. Yeah, so the lady in the hotel, she re recommended to download the Uber app, so we did that. So uh, yeah, it took two minutes for a cab to turn up because half the price of a tuk tuk. And they didn't even try to take us to a market or sell us or anything, so yeah. very good. I know we tried that. Uber taxi is actually better than a chuk chuk, but I think the, the funny thing is with a chuk chuk is it's much more funny than sitting in a normal car, but that is a choice you uh, take with yourself, pay more, a little bit more funny, right? Or pay less and have a normal car. Yeah, we wouldn't think that though, we wouldn't think a car was cheaper than a chuk chuk, but it is easy if you use Uber. Okay, now we're here in. Uh, the pink city, so let's have a look around here. So this is the entrance gate here to the pink city. Let's go and have a look here. Yeah, so the first place we're visiting, this is called Hawa Mahal. It's actually the rear of the palace here. It was built in 1799. And uh, there's lots of small windows. This was so that the, the ladies who were in the palace, they could look out and see what was happening in the, in the city, in the streets below, without being seen by the public. So, this is the first place we're visiting here in Jaipur. But it's uh, called the Pink City, but so far it looks uh, more orange to me. This is made out of uh, sandstone, this building here. We're just trying to find out why this is called the Pink City. And apparently it's because there was a Maharaja here in uh, 1876 and he wanted to impress Prince Albert that was visiting here from England. So the whole city was repainted in uh, what's called Jaipur Pink. It's actually kind of terracotta pink. The wife that persuaded her husband into having the city painted in this colour because she liked the colour. And that actually became a law that the houses had to be this colour. Okay, this is the uh, main entrance to Hawa Mahal, the palace here. So, uh, built in 1799, it would have been amazing to see this when it was new. Not now, and it's in uh, it's a bit of disrepair by the looks of it again. So, so let's go and have a look inside. Renovated in 2006, but very quickly dirty again. I'm not sure why it gets so dirty. Where they can't just keep the place clean. It would be such a shame to have such nice buildings just to see them so dirty. Seen from the people in 
the fifth floor. There's five floors here. This is the fifth one. is run down. That's a nice cafe here that's recommended to us by the lady of the hotel. This is run by an English lady. This is very modern. It's difficult to get a table here but we managed. Okay so the next attraction now is the city palace. It's quite near to the palace we saw this morning. We've just been to have lunch and then back again. We are getting quite good at Uber taxis now. That's something new. <laughs> just realised how easy and convenient that is. Uh, we're catching up with the modern age here. We've never seen the city palace here. Let's go and have a look at this. We have a guide now. It's quite a good price to have a guide here. So we get quite a lot out of that usually. So. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is the city palace here in the centre of uh, Jaipur. This is the home of the royal family from uh, Jaipur. They actually still live here today, even though they don't have any power anymore. That was stripped from them, but they're allowed to keep their palaces. So this is this is what happened over the whole of India, and this is uh, this is one of them here. The palace is actually uh, seven stories high, which is quite it's the highest building in uh, Jaipur. And, uh, very high for the building techniques they had at that time. They didn't have concrete, of course, at that time. And, uh, so this is Maharaja Jay Singh. He's the founder of uh, Jaipur. It's also why this uh, city is called uh, Jaipur, it's named after him. Pura, that means a uh, city in Hindu, so he, that's what you see, Jaipur, Jodhpur. It's the same uh, ending to the city. And he was a very intelligent uh, man and uh, he laid out the, the design of this city here. That's why this is the first city that's actually designed with a plan from, uh, from the beginning. Designed with uh, wide streets and uh, Jay Singh Maharaj. Okay, so here we have something pretty incredible. This is uh, two huge silver jars, the largest silver object in the world. And uh, these were actually built to carry uh, water. These are built by um, under the reign of uh, Maharaja Singh II. And he took a, a huge voyage to England, the first Indian emperor to ever go out of side of India, and he went to England. And these were actually used or designed and made to carry water from the Ganges River all the way to England because uh, he didn't want to drink any water from England, so he took his own water. At that time, the Ganges was uh, much cleaner than it is today. And, uh, so these are made from 14,000 silver coins. took two years to build these and they made a huge uh, mould for them. Pretty incredible. So these they were completed in 1896 and then in 1902 they were taken on the voyage to England to uh, go to the coronation ceremony for, of Edward VII. standing in the little arches. This flag is a flag from registered state. And well, you can't see it now, but it's a little flag on the top. And that shows that the royal family is at home. And they live at the back of this palace. You may have noticed in the pink city that some of the buildings are actually yellow. And that's because these are all the royal buildings are yellow. Whereas the rest of the city is a kind of pink, even though it's not actually pink. <laughs> by the lady that owns our guest house. So it's a very traditional Indian restaurant here. Uh, 
the restaurant with a story where they tell you this is a food based on the Hindu faith. What they're telling here is the purity of mind that comes from purity of food. So the food is very wholesome and strength giving it says. It's a vegetarian menu so I'm going to try this today. <laughs> So here they have something which was recommended by the, again by the lady in the hotel. They have a huge menu, well it's a set menu where you can try all these different things for, uh, yeah, basically six pounds. <laughs> it's uh, a uni unique, unforgettable lifetime experience. Wow, that's just something we have to try. <laughs> we get something like this I think. So. Let's give that a go. And one thing we've learned in these countries, always wash your hands before you eat anywhere. That's what we're doing now. Here they write the purity of mind follows purity of diet. Wow. Seems to make sense. Okay, so this is what we're trying to buy. Huge plate full of all different things. Bread and uh, all things I know, don't know the name of, but they look delicious. Well, this is a king's dinner here. <laughs> well, that was a great meal here. Even though it's a vegetarian food, you don't feel like you're missing anything. It's a really wholesome uh, food and tasty food. That was great. So, uh, I hope we've tried that. That was a good experience here. So this has been a day of Uber taxi. Completely different experience, very impressive actually. That was the day here in Jaipur. I um, spent the day in the in uh, the pink city, which is the old part of the city, um, visiting the royal palaces. Um, quite interesting, there's a lot of these uh, royal palaces because India used to be divided into lots of different uh, states which each had its own uh, royal family um, in, in control. But uh, during the British reign, they were stripped of their power, but they were allowed to keep these uh, extremely fine palaces, which, have, which must have been uh, extremely magnificent when they were new and in their, in their prime. Now they're in a bit of decay, but um, the royal families, they're actually still living in these um, palaces around India. And they're still extremely wealthy families. A lot of them, uh, they go to to a university in England, Cambridge, or USA, these kind of places. Um, so uh, it's a bit funny to think that uh, they're still around, all of these uh, royal families. So uh, so yeah, that was a, a day in Jaipur. Um, tomorrow we're here again. There's a, f yes, yet another fort we can see. And uh, we'll be going there. That's supposed to be a nice place. I think the main attraction here in Jaipur is about 10 kilometers away out of the town. So we'll do that. And uh, today we tried Uber. That was, uh, that was quite a good experience. So I'm sure we'll be using uh, those more from now on. So, yeah, that was yeah, our introduction to Uber. <laughs> a little bit late, but uh, yeah. That was good. So, okay, that was it. I'll see you tomorrow.